Welcome to Lobster 101, classes in session with MDP. Now I know what you're thinking. Lobster can be scary, intimidating. You don't know how to make it at home. I have you covered. The Great Lobster Cookbook is intended to teach you exactly how to do it over a hundred different ways. Now, it'd be rude of me not to thank somebody. My dad, Mr. P, we've got a lovely diagram here which is in the book of the Lobster Anatomy. I present to you Exhibit A. I present to you Exhibit B, the underbelly of the beast that's gonna teach you about the difference between male and female and how to identify them. And Exhibit C, the lovely horizontal picture. We're gonna see the top side of the lobster, a bug, what they call in Australia for our friends down under. Now that's enough what we have on paper. You guys wanna see the real deal. Let's present the real stars of the show, Kim and Kanye. Now, like I said, in Exhibit A, in my dad's lovely painting, the pincher claw, that actually, as it says, gets itself in there and just sort of pulls and tears at the meat of its prey so it can eat. The crusher claw, the big boy right here, it crushes everything, it crushes your finger. Don't get it caught, keep the band on while you're cooking at home. Lobsters generally survive on other lobsters. They survive on oysters, clams, crab, other little pieces that are bottom dwelling that these guys are sitting on and preying on. Let's get through the rest. The carapace, from the top of the eyes to the back of the tail. We've got the lovely little walking legs here. Ho, oh, Kim's getting excited. We've got the swimmerettes that run all the way through that help them propel through the actual water itself. We have the swimmerettes at the bottom. And I think we talked about how do we determine between a male and a female. The male right here, these tw two swimmerettes right at the top. They're actually in the male. They're hard, they're bold, they're quite sharp. Be careful when we're looking at Kim to determine the female. The swimmerettes are gonna be soft and very delicate here. Lobsters are pretty much almost nearly blind, especially in bright, bright lights. The antennas are designed to touch, smell, hear, see, determine everything that's coming at them, whether it be prey, mating, whatever it might be. These are very, very important. I'm looking at these two here, and our friend's missing. She's missing a little appendage here on one of her walking legs. Don't be scared. Unlike us, obviously we can't grow one back. Lobsters can, they can actually reproduce. So if you're missing a claw, for example, and there's one and you have it at a seafood restaurant, that would be called a cull, C-U-L-L. -L. Now, if Kim here was pregnant, we'd have this, a V-shaped little mark in the bottom left flipper here, for example, in the swimmerette, that would be marked. That would to determine to other fishermen out there that she is bearing eggs, they've gotta throw it back. I think we should talk about how they grow. They molt, it's like snakes. When they shed their skin, they grow throughout their lifespan. It's the exact same thing. Lobsters molt, M-O-L-T. So as they do, they have for half the year, if not even a little bit more, they have a soft shell. This whole piece is soft and they're shedding it to grow larger. So to be a size about this, it's about a one, uh, she is about a one and a half pound here. It takes seven years for a lobster to grow to one pound. So it's quite remarkable how long it actually takes. So enjoy it when you're cooking it and you're appreciating it. Make sure to, uh, when you're enjoying it, make sure to appreciate it because they're, uh, they're beautiful specimens. Okay, I want to thank Kim and I want to thank Kanye for being amazing participants here today. And I want to thank you guys. This has been Lobster 101. Class is now adjourned. Chef MDP wants to thank you for sticking around and watching this. If you want to learn more about great lobster tips and how to cook it, check out our cookbook, The Great Lobster Cookbook, available for sale now. Thanks guys, that was a beauty. Did a great job. Thank you. Nice doing business with you. Okay, nice to meet you.